Kintore School is in Aberdeenshire, within close commuting distance to Aberdeen and the surrounding industry. We hope to be very much a village school, but it's a village school of over 700 pupils at the moment. Like most schools, we started off with our formal groups, elected by their classes, class representation, etc. But because our school had grown so quickly and we wanted to involve so many children, and indeed involve new staff as well, we decided we would go down a different route and from that Making a Difference groups grew. The whole purpose behind Making a Difference is more about valuing individual contributions and therefore it becomes the responsibility of everyone in the school to ensure that this is a happy place and that it represents our values. We have to allow children the opportunity to say what they think, to feel what they think, to share what they want to do and what they believe in in assemblies or in wall displays. Having their voice and having them realise that we value what they do has become really important to making a difference. It's sort of like a ripple effect, so it goes from pupil to pupil to pupil and then it can spread across the class, the school and then sort of the community and then the wider world. Sometimes it's just things that you want to do to make a difference because um, my friend and I, we went to the old folks home and we sang to the, um, the residents and I think they really enjoyed it because they don't get visitors that often. When planning opportunities for making a difference times, teachers naturally take into consideration the experiences and outcomes of Curriculum for Excellence, but not just those for health and well-being but for other areas of the curriculum where it can give them real experiences. Also within the MAD time, there is a strong degree of personalisation and choice. And in some ways, the children are reflecting on where they are and how they would like to make those changes for themselves or for their community. As a teacher, I try to build on the children's learning and skills that they have developed in these MAD time activities. I try to give them opportunities to transfer these skills across other areas of the, the school life and the curriculum. For example, some of the children who in their MAD activity have worked with the nursery pupils find it easier to then work as a buddy in a school setup. Or they can go on and use their planning and organisation and interpersonal skills in school groups such as the Rights Respecting School Group or the, the Eco Group or the JRSO Group. Across the school, a number of classes are involved in whole class initiatives to make a difference. One class is doing a, a social enterprise where they're involving the elderly residents in the local community and they're trying to make that sustainable so it's not just a one-off. Another class organised an entrepreneurial business breakfast based around their own designs and constructions of little businesses within the classroom. They had to sell these to the local business people and try to get bids for them. I think it's a real benefit with the kids being involved with local businesses and it's getting the kids actually into a work environment, hearing about uh, local jobs, jobs that probably weren't even around when I, was a, when I was their age and there's going to be jobs now that aren't even thought of and are going to come on and it's getting them involved with them so I think it's got to be good for their broad learning and their future. We're very fortunate in the community that we live in. We have a number of parents who are keen to share their expertise, a number of local businesses and community groups who will work with us to enhance the work that the children do. For example, we no longer just write for our school newspaper, we write for the community newspaper and a local newspaper, just to make sure that the work that we are doing is out there and that people know what's going on. These partnerships, which may be long-term or short-term, actually enhance the children's knowledge of what's out there, what their opportunities are for the future and give them a good taste of what the world of work's about.